here with Hermes Romero San, the president of North American Bugay Society that is here training. And I would like to use his knowledge as he's a physiotherapy field. A physiotherapist. 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 Okay, for sport professionals or for athletes. I will use his knowledge actually to bring to you two very interesting aspects of futari gake or how to improve your velocity or achieve a high speed with the sword considering more than one opponent. So the thing is, if you are faster than you, one opponent, that's a really good thing. But if somebody is already attacking you in a single bed uh, timing, then you really need to improve all the timing, not only during your nuki, but also with your body. And that's what I want to actually bring this knowledge from him. So uh, the first situation that we are going to see with Futari Gake is with two opponents in 180 degrees, so one will be actually in front of me, the other one will be on my back. And the technique that we are going to discuss today is the Omote Yokotsuki plus Ushiro Chudan Makugiri, 180 degrees. Okay, backward. So please, Amisan, could you explain to or bring to us that those biomechanical details for us to improve velocity? Hi, Shiroshi. Uh, hello, yes, in this situation, uh, Futari Gake, as Shidoshi uh, has uh, told us, we have all an opponent in the front and another one in our back. So we have a 180 degrees, a line to move very fast. Why? Because both of them are going to attack, not at the same time because that it doesn't make any sense, but they are going to attack fast. So we, we have to be fastest, fastest, faster. Sorry. In this case, to improve the velocity, we have to make the movement very optimal. Uh, Shidoji Juliana wants me to explain something physiological about this uh, process. What happens is this in this situation that I'm going to show first is that we cannot stop this movement because then the energy these muscles uh, gather dissipates. So that is going to take a lot of time to Head backward. go backwards. What happens in our muscles is that when we go forward, when we move forward in order to attack the first opponent, these muscles, the quadricep muscle, they gather a lot of elastic energy. But we cannot stop, we cannot dissipate that energy. Before the energy dissipates, we got to uh, take advantage of that energy in order to go backwards. That will give us a lot of velocity, a lot of speed. Uh, in, order, in other words, we cannot put all the body weight in the front leg. That, that's the key point here. We, if we put the, the body weight in the front leg, then the energy will dissipate. So now I'm going to show you the, the form I'm splitting. It's a fast movement. It's very fast. So Two. could you please, uh, Amis, I'm so sorry to interrupt you. When we start, it's exactly what we told, we're going to use the thorax, yes, to achieve uh, greater distance with the sword. But when the foot goes, it starts moving for us to transfer this energy to move the hip backward. Yes, and you were explaining that there is a very specific term for that. That's the the one Hashiroshi. that I cannot say well. Other, <laughs> otherwise, we'll be will be putting a lot of body weight on the leg. Yeah, and, and so that's what I what I meant when I said stop. You cannot stop here because then 
the energy dissipate and we got to start from the from, from zero, zero point to, to contract combat. all over again and that's uh, you're saying that this is the flying biometric in 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 uh, the physical activity sciences is special specifically in, in exercise physiology and biomechanics it is called plyometrics plyometrics it is contraction it's a plyometric yes. contraction it, it's uh, a concentric contraction Fa uh, after an eccentric contraction. Okay. It's, it's, uh, in other words, uh, make it simple. Our muscles contract by lengthening and then... Suddenly, they contract again. So what yeah. we, basically what we are going to do is we are going to use the energy that we spend to go forward and we're going to emphasize it and change direction. Yeah, it's so we like can use the same energy saving a double, double work by the muscle group. Yeah? It's, it's using our muscle uh, like springs. So this is what we save energy. And saving energy for anything that is in velocity is really important. Because then your muscles will be relaxed. By being relaxed, you're going to gain velocity. And we're going to use only the contraction before the impact for the cut. So it means that you're going to save all your energy and going to apply with contraction so the sword could transgress the resistance of the body, especially if we're dealing with a really strong bones as we're having here the thoracical uh, area. You see you have all the ribs, all this box that protects the heart, the lungs and the liver and also some really strong bones as the femur or even the liacum that is also a, a really strong bone. And I would also love to ask you, Emerson, about the angle. I have a lot of students that they have difficulties of achieving the correct angle for the, the shoulder movement. Yes, and this is especially thing that we need for fast cuts, as we were discussing also today, uh, like Kiri Kaeshi and Kesagi angle. Yeah, so you see, we are using the whole station. And we need to achieve an angle with the body so the cut could come clean using the same energy as we are dealing about saving energy. And you explain me some really interesting facts about the angles of the. Hi, Shidoshi. We, we have something. I'm going to bring it here. <laughs> if I do not. Okay, please. First thing we have to take into consideration is that the glenohumeral joint. So this is a joint formed by the head of the humerus and the glenoid fossa of the... Uh, oh, the chromium, yes, yeah, the scapular. And, and, uh, of the scapula. That joint <coughs> has three movements, basic movements, which are uh, abduction... Okay, I'm, I'm doing here with and the... Abduction, flexion, yes, and abduction, flexion, and extension, internal and yes. external rotation. All right, there are two of those movements which need something that we call scapular rhythm. The movement are abduction and flexion. What is the scapular rhythm? After 30 degrees. Okay, more or less this. Yes, I, could, I also actually feel my... Yes, shoulder? You, you got, you're going to start feeling uh, something, something stuck here. Yes. Yeah, that's a limit of the joint. It's not to bother me. Uh, well, after 30 degrees, either uh, abduction or flexion, in order to continue moving the arm upward, the oh, I, I, I can it. you can try it at home. <coughs> and you feel too. Yes, the scapula must rotate. So yes, at, of at, course, I need to, to move my shoulder. After 30 degrees, each angle I of pass. movement of the humerus needs two, gray, uh, two degrees of movement of the scapula. That's why sometimes <coughs> when we have, or when we are suffering from some scapular contracture or stiffness, we cannot move well. the shoulder uh, in a free manner. So in this case, you have been explaining. Yes, and that, that's the application. Yes, we, we got this angle to cut. So the shoulder 
if, if we keep the, the torso the in a vertical position, we will require a lot of a lot movement. Of effort. Yes, it's actually. Yes. So if we do this with the torso, we are the sword we, yes, completely. and we're going to be ready not only to the angle of the cut, but also we we have it's comfortable, yes? Yes. Oh, that's our great. shoulder in a very relaxed position. So um, that's actually the thing that I was uh, talking to many of my students. If you are one, you will remember this. That uh, if you feel uncomfortable with the sword, practice. If you feel uncomfortable in your joints, please, please review your movement. Because the body must balance itself to allow you to do a really clean cut. Yeah? So if, you, if your shoulder hurts or if, if it bothers you, it means that you need to reveal it. Or you need to position Adjust well. Yes, your body so it can sustain the cut. So thank you very much, Emerson Romero-san, for bringing us this really interesting explanation. And I'll see you in the next videos.